Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Visual Studio IDE on your Mac operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can install Visual Studio on Mac. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for Visual Studio and the first link which will appear here will be from visualstudio.microsoft.com. So we are going to click on this link and once this website is open, you will be able to see three variants here. So here you can see Visual Studio, which is only available for your Windows operating system. Then we have Visual Studio Code, which are available for Linux, Mac OS and Windows. And we have Visual Studio for Mac. Now we need to keep in mind that Visual Studio for Mac doesn't contain all the features you will get if you install Visual Studio on your Windows operating system. So if you want to learn more about Visual Studio for Mac, you can click on this link. So let's download this uh, Visual Studio for Mac by just clicking on this button, which says download Visual Studio for Mac, which is going to redirect you to this page. And I will just wait for the download to complete. And once this DMG file is downloaded, I'm going to just click on this DMG file and I'm going to minimize the browser. So first of all, it's opening the installer. So now after some time, I can see this window, which says install Visual Studio for Mac. So I'm going to just click on this uh, icon, which is going to verify the install for Visual Studio for Mac. So just wait for this process to complete. And now I can see uh, this window, which says install Visual Studio for Mac is an app downloaded from internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Just say open here. And here it says, thank you for downloading Visual Studio for Mac. So click on continue. Now I can see the next window. So here you can decide for which purpose you want to use Visual Studio for Mac. So as you can see the available uh, targets here, you can use Visual Studio for Mac for .NET Core development. Also you can use Visual Studio for Android development, for example, Xamarin SDK and other Android related apps and you can use Visual Studio for iOS and Mac OS Cocoa. So we are going to uh, choose for now the .NET Core only. So we are going to just choose .NET Core and Visual Studio for Mac will take this much amount of uh, memory on your Mac and you can see uh, the .NET Core will take this much amount of memory. You can install this uh, Android support or iOS support or Mac OS support later also. So if you don't check it right now, it's okay. You can uh, always install the support for Android, iOS and Mac OS. So I'm going to just select the target .NET Core and then I'm going to just click on install. And now I can see this next window where uh, the download has been started and after that, the installation process will start. So you just need to wait for the download and installation to complete. So the downloading of all the packages are complete. And before installing, Visual Studio is asking me to provide my Max uh, password. So I'm going to provide my Max password here and then click on OK, which is going to start the installation process. So after the installation is finished, the Visual Studio IDE will start automatically on your Mac operating system. And if it doesn't start, you can always go to Launchpad and uh, then search for Visual Studio icon. It looks like this. You just need to click it and it's going to start Visual Studio IDE. So as you can see now, Visual Studio for Mac is starting now. And first of all, when Visual Studio starts, it's going to ask you to sign in with your Microsoft account or you can choose I will do this later. So I'm going to choose I will do this later. And now you can see uh, which keyboard shortcuts do you prefer? Visual Studio for Mac, Visual Studio Windows, Visual Studio Code and Xcode. So we are going to choose the default which is Visual Studio for Mac and then we are going to just click on continue. And here Visual Studio IDE has been started. So as you can see here, it doesn't look like uh, when we uh, see Visual Studio on our Windows operating system. Here we have two options. One is to open your Visual Studio project and other is to create a new uh, Visual Studio project. I'm going to just click on the new uh, section here. So now when we click on the new uh, section, 
it's going to show you this kind of window where you can choose uh, different project types first is in general section console and worker service applications and in other section you have asp.net core and here you can choose the other uh, applications type right so we are going to create a console application so just choose app here and then choose console application and then click on next and give the name of your project so i'm going to uh, give the name of my project as hello world and this will be the location of your project so i will leave it as default and if you have version control you can check this checkbox use git for version control and then click on create so as i can see here my visual studio c sharp console application project has been created here and it's going to look like this so as i told you it looks and feel little bit different than the visual studio on your windows operating system so here it looks like this so now the process of building and running is pretty standard you can just click on this build option and then click on build all which is going to build your application you can see the process of building here building solution hello world and once the build is successful you are going to see the status here build successful so in order to run your program you can either click on this button which says run or you can just click on this uh, section which says run and then you can choose uh, how you can run your uh, project so i'm going to click this button to run this program so let's click this button to run our program and once you run your program you will be able to see uh, this kind of terminal which is going to print hello world here so you can see the terminal print hello world and this is the name of your project hello world so here you will see the name of your project and here you can see the output you can also change this output a little bit so i'm going to add some more text here and save this and build it again so let's build all and then just run it and it's going to just run your program and show your output in the terminal so as you can see the output is printed here and this is how you can install visual studio ide on your mac operating system i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video Ooh.